Oh, there, that was a big one in there, wasn't it? I might it? be able to throw an A-rig. You can throw an A-rig. What? Hey, I said it first. I bet I'll catch one, don't you, Dad? I think so. Have you guys ever seen an eight-year-old sling an eight-foot Alabama rig rod? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm bumping the shad. You feel him? Yeah. I was so fortunate to have a dad growing up that was not, he, was, he loved to fish. So my whole family really does love to fish, but my dad was not a tournament angler. And in a way that was kind of a blessing because he wasn't obsessed with being on the front of the trolling motor. He wasn't the one that wanted to be running all of it. So my dad was such a huge influence. He always did whatever he could to get me to the next level in fishing, whether that was starting the first youth chapter in Washington, which got me to the divisional tournament in the Washington or the regional, to the state tournament, to the junior world championships in 2005, where Kevin Van Dam was my boat captain and I won the world championship miraculously somehow. And I mean, it's just, it's incredible what my dad put in. You know, he put me on the front deck of a boat early and he would run a long corded foot pedal from the back of the boat, but he would let me be on the front fishing. So it wasn't like he was st sticking me in the back of the boat like I do to Zeke and Eli. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's just, it's really cool to see how he invested in me. And it's, it really has taken my life in a great path and led me to so many things that are even above and beyond fishing. It's just, it's really cool to see how his sacrifice paid off in my life. You really got to take it away from him to get him to eat. Come on. I got one looking at it. That's a bass, I think. Or a little strike. Jake, that was awesome. Great so, fish catch, man. A bunch of people do that. Yeah, a bunch of adults do that. You know, Alabama has a special place in my heart, and I actually got to come down here and visit for one of the Bassmaster Classics uh, in, I guess that was 2007. So I was about 16 years old, and I came down here, and I really love this area, but never in my mind could I have imagined that I'd be moving to the south. I mean, I grew up in an amazing place in Washington on a lake. So, you know, when it wasn't frozen, I was always fishing on a place called Liberty Lake in Washington, and that was a great place to grow up. But I just kind of always pictured myself staying there. But in 2009, I actually came back to Birmingham during one of the Bassmaster Classics and met a guy who's an evangelist from Pell City and became good friends with him and decided that I needed to make some life changes and I moved down to the south uh, later that year or right that next spring and I didn't really know where I was going to live and we were looking for places and uh, heard about a real estate person here and she actually found me a cabin that was on the water and these people were willing to rent it to me for pretty cheap because I was only 19 years old and uh, I can remember still very vividly the first time I pulled up to the cabin on the water just this beautiful little cabin it's nothing fancy but it's exactly what I needed and I was just like oh my gosh I get to live here I'm 19 years old and I truly felt like I was you know living the dream at that point and it's amazing when I made that decision to get away from bad habits and come down to the south, my life just really took off in a whole nother direction. And I met my wife shortly after Jessica. And so now we're blessed with two little boys, Zeke and Eli, and, and we've upgraded the house a little bit to a better place for all of us as a family. But I still get to live right here on the shores of Logan Martin. And it's just, it's a wonderful place to live and a wonderful place to raise a family down here in the south. Oh, Eli, wait, you want to fight this one? How much like a gar when it came up? Oh, whoa, 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 extra hook set? Okay. It's been an incredible last couple of years. You know, I went a long time fishing in the opens and this is something that young anglers can learn from. Older anglers that are trying to make it to the elite series of the next level can learn from. You know, I went a long time without being extremely successful. I had a lot of good things going for me and I made a living fishing through guiding, which I love and working with great companies and social media but tournaments were never anything that I relied on to make a living with. And so I went all these years with having some solid top 10 finishes, but not consistently getting paychecks, which is where I've always wanted to be. I feel like to be a great angler, you gotta be consistent. I'm excited, I'm gonna fish nine Bassmaster Opens next year. And I had my best season of my life. I mean, getting paid eight out of nine tournaments over the last two years was incredible. And it's been a blessing to me and my family. And it's allowed me to give more in places I want to give. And it's just allowed me to be more generous and to live more freely and to put my time into things that really matter in this life. So it's just been 
overall, it's a great thing. And you got to look at things like that. You got to be content with what you get and content with what you don't get. Because a lot of the time when you don't get something, that's for your own protection. It's number two, but like, right. I got yeah, him. Yeah, be a bass. Oh, it's a nice spotted dog. That's the big spot I've caught all day. That's a nice one. You've been out for a long time too. What, at least an hour? You gonna lip him or flip him? Lip him. Going in my left. What? He was throwing up Chad. Is he really? Damn. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice up. double spot. <laughs> one on a willow and one on a Ned Meeky. Okay. Eli, I call that a triple. No. I That's a triple. We got a triple. We got a shad and two bass. Don't kiss that. Ew. You could eat it. I'll give you a dollar if you eat it. You can't take kids anywhere, can you? You start one little thing with them. Starts as fun. Next thing you know, they're shoving shad in each other's mouths. You know, I really didn't know what to expect when I started working with Z-Man eight years ago. It was kind of crazy. I had used their chatter baits a lot, but I had not had a ton of, you know, familiarity with their plastics with Elastec. There's so many advantages to it. The action on them is incredible because they're soft. And a lot of people know this now. It was kind of a mystery, but now we know this. The plastic's soft, so it has amazing action. It's extremely tough and durable, which is weird to have those two combinations of the softness and the durability. I mean, they call it 10X tough for a reason. And as a guide, it's cool to get to take people fishing that aren't familiar with it and show them like, hey, I can go out today and I can catch 50 fish on this one Streaks 375. And people are just like, no way, it's impossible. But once they see it, they believe it. I mean, I've got an Alabama rig or an umbrella rig rigged up with the same diesel minnow swim baits that I've had on there for two months. And I've caught 100 fish on it and I have not had a single issue with the bait sliding down or with a tail ripping or anything. It's just incredible the advantages there are to Elastec. Honestly, my greatest, you know, blessing in my life has been having kids. And yeah, I didn't, I've always wanted to be a dad. I'll put it, I'll say that first. And so getting to have two little boys that look up to me and getting to be an influence to them in every aspect of life, whether, you know, not just fishing or things that we, I do with them, like golfing or sports or whatever, but getting to influence them spiritually is such a cool thing. And I really, I mean, that's what make, brings me the most joy in my life is getting to teach them and them being able to look up to me and see the example that I'm setting for them. And that really strives as a parent to make you be better. I mean, when you have little kids that are looking up to you and that, that you have to care for and that you have to influence, and I'm thinking, look at this world right now that I'm gonna have to send my kids into as they get older. I want them to be well-equipped and well-prepared and well aware of what they're gonna face, but also well aware of how to handle it. As far as them wanting to be a professional fisherman or a professional golfer, I don't really care what they wanna do as long as I know that they're gonna be content and happy. And I really truly believe that. All you can do is raise them up to have a lot of love in their hearts and have an open heart to that. And uh, it's just, the rest is gonna be history. They're gonna do great. And Zeke loves fishing a ton. Eli likes it a lot, but I just, you can't tell. I mean, they're little kids and they might wanna follow my footsteps, they might not, but whatever they wanna do is okay with me as long as they're good dudes.